So I made a sword out of wood that looks like a Pikachu's tail. That's what you just saw me smashing stuff up with. If you don't know why I made that, not long ago I made a Pikachu helmet and people in the comments helped me to decide that it should become a part of a Pikachu medieval style suit of armor. Now here's the thing, on this channel I don't like to build things that are too complicated. I hate it when you're on a cosplaying YouTube channel and they say something is homemade but what they fail to tell you is at their home they have an industrial table saw and lots of other tools. It's like, oh god, I'm not rich. Anyway, to make the shape of this actual sword, all you need is a plank of wood. I got a nice soft piece of pine, a coping saw, which is a special like hand saw that you can use to get around tight corners. If you don't have one, don't worry, neither did I. I bought that for like 10 bucks. Also some sandpaper, that costs like $2 for that whole thing. First thing you want to do is grab a pencil and draw the shape of your sword onto the wood. I drew some rough sketches, but it still took me a while to kind of use a ruler and figure it out exactly how it was going to work in real life. And then you just got to cut that sucker out. Now I'm not going to bore you with the entirety of the footage of me cutting it out, because that would be boring as hell. Basically, just use the coping saw to do it bit by bit. Now the coping saw is good for this because you can adjust the direction of the blade, which allows you to get into very tight corners, and this sword has a lot of those. After you've cut it out, it's time for sanding. My favourite. Now I sanded the actual handle down, I sanded the corners basically till it was round and cylindrical. I didn't want to make the edges of the sword too sharp, mostly because it's wood and that would take forever, but also because if you want to take it to conventions or something and it's sharp, they will take it away from you. I did use a pocket knife to kind of angle the edges down a bit into a roughly a point, but then I mostly used sandpaper to get it all nice and smooth. After you sand it, it's time to paint. Now this is how I did the paint, you could do it a completely different way, a bunch of other ways would still work. Basically I did a base coat of white, just because that helps other colors show up later. Then I covered the whole blade with silver. I used a technique I read online about how to make wood look more like metal, which is basically do a coat of spray paint, sand it a bit, do a coat of spray paint, sand it a bit, and keep doing that. It works pretty well because basically it means you can't see the grain. Anyway, then I added some rough yellow to the blade and I sanded that a bit down so you could see the silver underneath, which is cool because kind of make it look like it was metal that had been chipped through fighting and whatnot. Then it was time to paint on some of the details. Now, Pikachu has this brown marking thing at the bottom this tail, I basically just use a brown acrylic paint to do that. Also, I got an old t-shirt, chopped it up and wrapped it around the handle. That actually looked better than I was expecting. That was a good idea. Well done, me. I'm the best. Right at the end, I got some black acrylic paint and watered it down and kind of put it all over the sword and just used some material to rub it in just to make that yellow look not so bright. It was a little bit too bright and I want it to look old and weathered like I said and the black just kind of sinks into all the nooks and crannies and it looked a lot better. And then, sword complete. Oh ho ho ho, ho ho. Jump in the comments, tell me, what do you think of the sword? Also, the next thing I think I'm gonna build is the shield. What do you think that should look like? I've got an idea in my head that you might have one better. Probably not, because I'm awesome, but maybe. Also, before I go, I wanna talk about a website called Xcosa. It's a really good cosplay website. They sell cosplay accessories. Basically, they contacted me and said, we'll send you a free mask if you say that our website is good on your channel. Now, my channel isn't that big, but surprisingly, I get a lot of emails like this. Usually, I say no. This website is actually good though and they sent me this freaking daredevil mask yes my name's matt murdoch and i'm blind they're very good there's links to their channel in the description below and a link to their facebook as well anyway i'm gonna go i'll leave you with links to some other videos i've done like the pikachu mask and whatnot also click like because i will do to you what i did to that cardboard version of james from team rocket